Hello, welcome to my channel. I will show assembly for tutorial in 3CAD. I will tell how to copy assembled components. I make CAD videos regularly. If you want you can check my other free CAD tutorials as you can see in video. I will create this assembly parts in assembly 4 workbench. Assembly 4 does not exist copy button or circular pattern. I will show how to copy assembly parts in assembly 4. Firstly I will draw two parts in part design. Secondly I will insert these two parts to assembly 4. After that add coordinates. Lastly I show assembly in circular pattern. Let's start with first part. Click part design from workbench. Start new file. Select isometric view. Then click Ziplane. After clicking create sketch button, click circle button, then draw circle which starts from center. Click circle constraint button, enter diameter of circle. From your keyboard and click OK. Click close, then click pad button, enter 15 mm length from your keyboard. Now select bottom face of part. Click sketch button to start 2D drawing. Click circle button, then draw a circle, start from center point. Click this circle and click construction geometry button to make construction circle. Then click button again. Draw a circle, as shown in video. Now click constraint button, enter diameter of both circles from your keyboard. Click vertical constraint button, then click center points of circles. Enter 50 mm distance and click OK. Click close to exit sketch. Click pocket button. Enter 10 mm length and click OK. Now click Polar Pattern button, then I enter number of patterns, according to selected axis. Enter 6 occurrences, then click OK. You will see transformation succeed. Now click Corner of Part, then click Chamfer button. Enter 2 mm radius. Click OK. Part 1 drawing is finished. Save this part. Write a name. Then click Save button. Now click New button. To start second part. 
Select Isometric View. Then click Sketch button to start 2D drawing. Click XZ Plane. Click Polyline button and draw this shape randomly. After that I will enter constraints and dimensions. I will use revolve command. When I finish this 2D drawing. Click constraint button. Then click line as shown in video. Click distance constraint button. And enter 5 mm distance. Click horizontal line. And enter 9 mm distance. Click vertical line. And enter 120 mm distance. Lastly click vertical line. Enter 10 mm distance. You see all lines become green this means all dimensions and constraints are completed. Now click revolve button. Then click OK to finish part. Click bottom line of part. Then click chamfer button. Enter radius and click OK. Now click save button. Then write part name. Click save. Drawing of parts are finished. Now I can start to assembly. Click assembly 4 from workbench. Click first part. Then rotate part and click body. Click LCS button. To create new coordinate. Then write a name and click OK. Click part of face. Now click Xi plane on list and click OK. After create LCS. Don't forget to click save button. Click body again. Click LCS button and click OK. And select corner of hole. Then click concentric on list. Then click OK. I will continue with second part of LCS. Click save button. And click support part bottom. Click body of support. And click LCS button. And click OK. Click top corner of support. Select concentric from a list. Lastly click OK. Now click new button from top. Click save button. And write assembly and click save. Click new model button. Click link a part button. To insert parts. Click first body on list. Write a name for the first part. And click insert. Click parent assembly. Then click LCS coordinates. As shown in video. Click rotate button. To change side of top part. After that click OK. Click 
Click link apart button. Click second body on list. Write support for part of name and click insert. Click top to attach support part. Click LCS coordinates on list. Click OK. To complete assembly of parts. Click save button. And click workbench to go drafting. I will copy support part to the each five holes. Now click draft workbench to copy support part. Click grid button to close it. Click support part from left side. And click polar array button to copy assembly part. Write 6 for elements and click vertical coordinate. Click OK to complete copy of support parts. Now you can easily copy or array assembly parts. You can use it other assembly workbenches like assembly 2 plus and assembly 3. Thanks to draft workbench you don't need to insert same part and coordinates again. As you can see from video, you can return assembly 4 workbench without error. Now I will show different assembly. Same copy method will be used this assembly. I will copy horse part to the each 8 rectangle pocket. I create carousel assembly before. If you want to watch toy carousel assembly, look cards or below video. Click draft from workbench. Click horse part. Click polar array from top. Write number of elements and click vertical coordinate. Now horse part is copied in assembly. When assembly parts are copied, coordinates of parts are copied at the same time. I share link how to create this toy carousel assembly. Link is in description part of this video. Also you can see technical drawings of toy carousel part. Tutorial is finished. I showed draft and assembly for tutorial at the same time. Don't forget to subscribe my channel and like video.